In this video, we're going to show how you can take a point in 3D space and produce a 2D path from it using the Locator 3D tool. We start with some geometry of a spider standing on a ground plane. We've lit it with a spotlight, which is casting shadows, and animated a camera to rotate around it. What we want to have happen is that when the camera is opposite the spotlight, we should be able to see the spotlight, so we're going to generate a 2D hotspot effect. To begin with, we add a 3D locator tool, inserting it between uh, the last merge and the first render. Then we take the output of the spotlight and connect it to the second input on the locator. Note that the output of our renderer is 720 by 486. For the locator to produce the correct output, it needs to know which camera we're using, and it also has to be set to the correct width and height of the output image. And that's really all there is that you need to do. What we can do now is load the settings for a hotspot that we've pre-created. We'll connect the hotspot to the output of the renderer and view it. Now the position, uh, XY position of the center is wherever we saved the settings for, but if we right click on that, select connect to locator 3D1 position, then that's going to snap to the location in 3D space of that spotlight. Now right now we can't see the spotlight because, or the hotspot that's being generated by the spotlight, because it's not opposite the camera. But as that comes into view, and we can see that right there, the hotspot is going to track correctly through the scene. So in this case, what we've done is we've used the locator to produce that uh, point in space from the spotlight, and we connected the spotlight directly to the locator's secondary input. But of course, Locator also has independent XYZ controls in its transformation tab, so you can use that to position locators anywhere you wish in the scene. Another good use for the locator is to use it to drive the position of masks or even individual points on uh, polylines. So that's the end of our quick introduction to the locator. I hope you find it useful.